Alright, having another video, Dr. Kevin Lavaya style. This one is Mother's Vampires Catching Opelu Hawaiian Coast Cat using the hand line. Floridians call it Speedo. So we're in the pitch black. Darkness of night. We got our little lights on the gunnels. It's attracting shrimp and plankton, zooplankton, and crabs and hand line pulling up the bloodline. All right, you gotta get the right speed. Coming up. All right. Who's got the right speed? Looks like ah, Opelu in the boat. Opelu in the boat, and it's a double. All right, Hanapa. Good, good going. Good going there. All right. I'm trying this V hooker thing for the first time. D hook the old hill without getting my hands slimy. Alright, going back down. Set up a little while there. And Captain got one, scooped it with the net. They tend to spit the hook right by the boat. Right when you want to get it. So if you got them right at the top of the water, just lift them in the boat with the net. And that's the way you get it in there. Alright. So, the plan is, as soon as it's dark, sun goes down, sunlight is down. Stop your boat on the drift. Put the lights out. Light attracts all the little shrimp and stuff and come up for that. So here we go. We have six or seven hooks, homemade flies, and sitting it down. Tonight's a good night. There's about 20 fathoms of Opelu, solid school under the boat. Current is pretty good so far. No predators picking our Opelu. So you go, go down to the depth you want and then slowly put a line up. Once the once uh, Opelu bites the hook, starts wiggling around, and if brother bites the hook and sister bites the hook, and yeah fill up that stringer yeah and you kind of want to speed up your pull keep the line tight so they don't spit the hook you know those fish they got kind of a soft mouth so you clip throw them in the boat throw them in the boat over the tail in the tail okay but you don't want to get your line all tangled up all right Hanapa, bite is on. There we go. All right. We got Suji, that's a monofilament. A little pelu. And then seven branches of flies. Captain doesn't have my knee hooker. He just goes with his bare paws. And back down the go. Try not to hook yourself, try not to hook the boat, and just try and hook a fish, or two, or three, or four. Fill up the 5 gallon bucket, throw it in the 48 foot cooler, and full of ice, put a little ocean water, and dry them, keep them fresh. Prime bait, that's the prime bait. 
cost you about ten to twenty dollars a piece here in Florida. One bait, live bait. Now you go to a supermarket in Hawaii, it's about eight bucks a pound. That's what people love to eat. And there goes Cap. Got another one in the boat. Kind of like taking turns there, because go down at the same time you tend to get tangled in each other. All right, doing pretty good. The Kupuna can see too good in the dark, but still can feel. Gotta pull them up, pull that thing up. Hit the swivel with the monofilament, go down. You got about an eight ounce lid. If that thing doesn't sink, that means your pillow is lifting your line up. Alright. So, not too bad, not too bad. Cap time. Slowly get his little pillow up without the mount breaking. Keeping the line tight and not pulling too hard. You want to get two, three, four, as much as you can on each drop. Pretty good size of pillow. That's a macro scad. Floridians call them the and sometimes you run into paracoons, sharks, dolphins, that like Popelu too. Lose a hook, put a new one on, put a new one on the branch. Gotta get them loaded up. I need a headlight because at night my old eyes is kind of blind. But I go back down and add it again. Alright, so we're probably starting out maybe 50 fathoms deep to the bottom. Want to catch a north current, hopefully not too fast. Put the light out, get the shrimp and little pankin around and get the opilla coming up. And we'll catch a few big eyes scared too, as Akule in Hawaiian. Uh, Floridians call them the goggle eyes. Another one they pay $10-$20 each for live bait. Good eating in Hawaii, like $7-$8 a pound in the supermarket. Not as good beat as the Opelu. Still. He gets a lot of fish with Akuni. There we go. Go in easy. Don't want to break them out. But they wiggle so much, sometimes they break their own mouth and eat. You can have three, four or five on and end up with this one. But one, two, three. They got three on that drop. Alright, that's pretty good. Good size of Pelu. You barely get your hand around them. And by about 8.30, we, we filled up the 48 quad cooler. Kind of slowed down after that. Started another drift. This is the night before Thanksgiving. Pretty good water, except when tourists pass by and they come close and rock the boat. But by 11, we got our second 48 quart cooler full of Opelu and time to go home. Get some rest for Thanksgiving Day festivities. Alright, here we go. We got one in the boat, two in the boat. And that's the way we like it. Fill up that cooler nice and quick. Down again. Get some more. Right. Water is pretty flat. Like 
successful in two sports. Going to see Manta Rays pass close by and hit us with the week. We are in the big blue Pacific Ocean and still they got a pass right next to us. Well, can't beat them. I think they own the ocean. So, keep on fishing. Just keep on fishing. Try not to fall in the ocean when they rock the boat. Uh, we hit our depth and then come up. Sometimes you come up fast, sometimes you come slow. Find the speed where the Kelu bite and Captain doesn't like that cool the dog lines. We'll Fresh Skeetles. Fill up the five gallon bucket. Throw it in the cool. Always on ice, always on brine. Take care of your bait and you can catch the ahis later on. Alright. Thank God for Mother Holiday. Once in a while we'll get out here. Catch some bait, you know, you gotta have fresh bait. Catch the yellowfin tuna. Hey, subscribe. Thanks for um, tuning in. Hit the like button, notification bell, and hanapa. We'll see you in the next video. Mahalo.